Hi everyone. <clears throat> so I guess I'm day 20 now. Day 20, that's fantastic. Um, it's late again. I think these challenges are getting more challenging. Um, I'm starting to run out of ideas and um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I'm looking at this wooden box which everybody has and I've never used it before I've never altered it <clears throat> and then I'm also looking at these tags that um, I purchased from Michaels it's the recollection it's the two and five eighths by five and a quarter um, medium creative tags it says Anyways, they fit perfectly in here. So, I'm thinking about creating a mini with these tags that fit in here. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if I'm up to it. <laughs> That's why it's a challenge. Um, I kind of thought, okay, well... I colored these two things. Maybe that's my challenge for today. But that's kind of boring for you guys, so... I don't know. Anyways, let me see if I can get my mojo on and alter this box. Alright, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so I've painted this with gesso. <clears throat> and I thought I would use um, some of the paper. It's old paper that I had purchased a long, long time ago from Michaels. I want to do a little uh, mini album for one of the dance teachers. She just had a baby girl. And the baby girl's name is Peyton. So I thought I'd use this paper that I've been that I've had sitting around and um, make this a very girly, girly um, box and then inside will be a mini album. So I think the colors are going to be black and pink. But I'm trying to decide which pink to use. I'm either thinking this one here. I don't know if that's going to be too pink. It might look too pink to abysmal pink. Or this pink if this is too light. I think I'll go with the lighter one. Is there anything else? Um, that's too peach. Yeah, I think I'll go with this color here. Okay, so. Okay, so I wrapped the top part with Mod Podge. And I don't think I did a very good job because it's kind of wrinkled. Oh, I'll have to. I'm not too happy with it, but I'll make it look nice. But <clears throat> I find the bottom a little too light so I think I'm going to do this base part here in black. But it's coming together. Okay, hi. So I've gotten this far. I've added some satin flowers and two I am roses that I painted black and a leaf. Um, still not what I want it to be so I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit more. Alright. Well, by the way, um, this craft, not this craft mat, but this oven liner that, I, that I've used as a craft mat, it is fantastic. It's the um, Betty Crocker oven liner that I got at Bath, Bed and Beyond, and it's really nice and big. And it was $9.99, and I used... Um, um, I've sprayed Glimmer Mist on it, it came off, Gesso, which really, you know, um, digs in and sticks on, it comes off nice and easy. And, um, see here, I've got some, I don't know what that is, maybe paint or ink, and it wipes off really nicely. So, it's, um, I think it's pretty good. Okay, and it's nice and big for $10 for a craft mat, that's fantastic. Okay. Okay, it's starting to come along. <clears throat> so, I've added a lot of Prima Satan Pearls. And I think here, 
I'm going to put her name on in the little um, circle letters. And her name, the little baby's name is Peyton. So I think I'm going to do that. And I think that it should be it. So it's coming along. Um, all right. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so I made letters, and I'm watching a video as I do this here, so um, I'm going to put glossy accent on these letters, and then attach them. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I finished this altered box. It's really late right now. I think it's, I don't know, one in the morning. <laughs> um, but anyways, I think what I'll do is I'll do the... Um, mini that goes inside it tomorrow so let me just go through this stuff here so these look at my hand it's just uh for this one <laughs> but so these are just those satin roses um i'm not sure where i got it with whether it was a rack or if i purchased it at um, the fabric store or the dollar store i'm not sure but i have a butterfly bling there and some Say It In Pearls Prima. And some more pearls down here and another butterfly. And then I used that typeset punch and I punched in her name and I put glossy accents. It's still drying so it's still not um, that clear. But And the paper, I purchased this at M Michael's. It was a long time ago but... Um, it's cute. And I'm not sure whether I like this pink right here. I might paint that black. I'm not too sure yet. But that is the altered box. And then tomorrow I will work on the little mini album that goes in. So thank you guys for watching. And um, I hope you guys like it. It was fun. <laughs> It was really challenging for me because I wasn't feeling like crafting today. <laughs> I'm tired. and But I'm glad I did it. It's been a, a project that I've been wanting to do. And so now I can um, get the mini album done and then I can give it to the dance teacher. So thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.